Hi everybody, this is Nick from Newegg and I'm here with Justin. How are you doing, Justin? Good, how are you? Good, good. Justin's here from Linksys and he's here to talk to us about the new MaxStream EA8500. So, what is this? So it's actually uh, an AC2600 MU MIMO gigabit router. Okay, uh, that, that sounds impressive. Uh, what does that actually mean? What are we looking at here? How does the wireless work? So it's an AC radio, so it's 802.11ac, which is the latest protocol. Um, AC2600 is the speed, and it is a dual band router, so it has a 2.4 gigahertz band, also has a 5 gigahertz band combined. It can provide up to 2600 megabits per second in speed. All right, wow. Uh, and how about the hardware and the connections? So it has a 1.4 gigahertz processor and 512 of RAM, so it's a really powerful CPU. Um, it also has four gigabit LAN ports for all your connected wired connected devices. It has a gigabit WAN port for your ISP connection. It also has three connections for, let's say, a hard drive, a USB 2.0, a USB 3.0, and also an eSATA port uh, in case you have an older hard drive hanging around. Okay, so it sounds like it should have everything that you need. Um, a lot of the marketing materials are talking about the MU MIMO. Um, yes. What is that? What does that actually stand for? Well, it stands for multiple user, multiple in, multiple out. And that's a lot of multiples. A lot of multiples, right, right. Um, so how is that different than what we've had previously? So currently, most routers today are MIMO, which is multiple in, multiple out. And mm -hmm. what that basically means is that each client device, let's say a laptop, can both upload and download at the same time. Um, the problem is you have multiple devices on your network. Um, each device has to sort of wait its turn, so it mm -hmm. creates some inefficiencies. Uh, but with multiple user MIMO, actually up to three devices can talk to the router simultaneously, thus improving your efficiency. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and why is that the new next big thing? So essentially, if you think about um, the common household today, there's um, you know, an average of eight connected devices per household. Mm -hmm. um, but what's more critical is during rush hour, let's say 6 to 10 p.m., oh, right. you get the whole family home, you get lots of people on the network. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our study shows up to five people are connecting the, to, to the internet at the same time, and all those devices are competing for the same bandwidth. So if you think about the average household, you need to get better efficiency to all those devices that are looking for that bandwidth for video streaming or online gaming, uh, where you need better bandwidth to your, to your connected devices. Devices. Right, right, okay. And uh, are there a lot of MU MIMO devices out there? There's a few on the market today. Actually, Acer just launched the whole lineup of, of laptops that have MU MIMO capability. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more by the end of the year, but over time, it's going to become the de facto standard. Um, actually, by 2019, up to 75% of all connected devices are going to be MU MIMO capable. Oh, all right. And um, how does your internet connection speed actually factor into this whole thing? Um, so let's take an example. Let's say, for instance, you just upgraded to 100 megabits per second, which is pretty common these days. Um, you can actually get 100 megabits at the edge of your network. Um, this particular router can support up to 2,600 megabits per second, mm -hmm. but that's right at your router. So right. most of the time, you're not sitting by your router using wireless. You're on your iPad in a distant bedroom watching a video, or maybe you have a distant game room um, where you, you're, you're doing online gaming. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that that 100 megabits is supported throughout the entire network, specifically at the edge of your network. Um, and by having a more powerful, faster router at the, at the center is going to help you do that. Right, right. Okay. Do you have any performance stats to go along with this router? Yeah, actually, we just had the router tested by a third party. Uh, we had the EA8500 tested against four other routers of um, similar technology, similar price points. Mm -hmm. um, and the great thing is that this router performs up to four and a half times faster than the competition. Wow. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. Awesome. Justin, thank you very much for coming out to talk Thanks, to us Nick. today. Uh, once again, this is the MaxStream EA8500 router from Linksys. If you want more information, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Uh, it'll go to the Newegg page where you can read all about the product, get more information, check out those performance stats that Justin was talking about. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below so we can uh, find out what you think. And make sure you like and subscribe as well. Uh, thanks, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.